<clears throat> Hello everyone, uh, Bernard here and uh, just wanted to talk to you briefly about one, one driving tip which I use which I think people are going to be able to benefit from. It's uh, just, we're just going to call it, you know, paying attention to your surroundings and you could define that in many different ways, in any way that you can, but it's all about paying attention to your surroundings. What I do personally is uh, I try and take note of you know the number of cars in front of me you know just two cars ahead of me notice what they're doing two cars directly behind me just to pay attention to what they're doing two cars off to the side to the right and to the left because you know as you're driving those guys around you are gonna do different things okay for example if you're about to merge into the right lane or to the left lane and you're not paying attention to who is over there the moment you start merging in, if somebody is so close to your blind spot, you're gonna crash into them. But if you're already paying attention, you know who's coming up on your right, who's coming on your left, you know, it's a lot easier. Like right now, I know the two trucks behind me, okay? The black car that just passed, I noticed it before I even got there. So if I'm gonna merge to the left, I know who's already right there, you know, who's coming up and how fast they, that person is coming up as well. Because you want to, you want to avoid having to get into a situation where you have to slam on your brakes or you know no you're paying attention like you know this truck is right here i noticed him a while back i know how fast it's coming ahead you know it's coming there's a guy in front of me who's turning slow i can't merge right now because of the white van coming up so it's just paying attention to what's happening around you okay because you know once in a while you see a guy you know flying up behind you coming directly behind you know either you move away or if you see him trying to merge over one side don't start merging over to the side to give him chance because he's already turned his blank blinker on he's committed to moving that way so you probably don't want to do that so it's just little little things like this which <clears throat> you know it's it helps you be uh i don't want to say it helps you be like a defensive driver because you 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 know what is happening all around you. You can anticipate what people will do. Once in a while, when I'm driving, I'm looking at you know I might drive with someone and I'm like, this guy on in front of me is gonna merge left in three, two, one, and you know a second before, a second after, a couple seconds, they merge left. Most of the time, without even turning on their blinkers, because the way the person is driving, I can anticipate what they're gonna do. If you do that with somebody behind you even better off to your sights even great then you can easily be able to tell what this person can do that way you put yourself on the safe side like for one i ride motorcycles i ride motorcycles and on a motorcycle everything in in in, in as simple as i can put it everything is out to get you so if you drive if you're riding your motorcycle you're paying attention to the road paying attention to the cars ahead of you the ones behind you you know if the guy in front of you starts slamming on his brakes you have one option to brake hard or swerve around him and that's instant but if you're trying to swerve and not noticing that there's somebody beside you now you have a problem so it's kind of like trying to transcribe that into the way you drive and <clears throat> i drive a lift and if you're if you're driving for a lift i think your awareness of the road and the cars around you should be a lot higher because you have somebody else in your car and if something were to go wrong you are primarily responsible because it's your job to take that person safely from point a to point b you know come what may you are in control of you and your car that's what you have control of but the people around you you very have you have little control over so you have to drive in such a way that you put yourself on the defensive side if something is going to happen you're ready to react sometimes you even react before the thing happens because you're that aware okay um so that's just what i want to talk about today paying attention to your surroundings i've driven a few uh, driven with a couple friends whom i've actually explained this to them and they're like what or you know a car is coming up i'm like watch that car and how do you how do you notice all this practice 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 <clears throat> you're not gonna get out of a road after watching this video and immediately be able to pay attention to eight cars around you no you're not going to be able to do that so I'm not gonna tell you that it's gonna be something you're gonna get right away no it's something which you have to deliberately practice you know if you're merging left and right let's start with left and right 
how many cars are to your right how many cars are to your left just you know you can look you can look from your gauge from your mirror gauge how fast they're coming up like this guy is coming pretty fast just gauge how fast they're coming up that way you know you can anticipate what to do if the person directly behind you is coming up fast you have two options get out of the lane if you're on the fast lane please get out of fast lane if you're on the lane just get out of the lane if it's safe to merge on either side or watch what he does when he's approaching you because some people they want to stay on the fast lane so they'll ride your butt till you get off the road or some people are just coming up and they're just weaving right through so those kind of people don't worry about them don't get into their lane if you see them blinking then you start blinking yeah hello road rage and that's not fun so you just want to kind of pay attention to your surroundings it comes down to paying attention to your surroundings no matter how we put it it's paying attention to your surroundings so knowing what's happening around you in front of you behind you off to your side so guys i hope this helps you but again i would say practice 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 start with a car on either side start one on the back and even the one in front of you and gradually the more you practice the more you drive the more you practice you realize that you might be noticing a car that is way far back in addition to what is ahead of you so when you practice 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 it almost becomes second nature all right so guys practice 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 and pay attention to your surrounding and be safe out there thank you very much